We all appreciate how beautiful California can be, but we also know the danger of a devastating earthquake. What would you do if the big one hits? Danielle Robay is with an earthquake expert who has tips that could help save your life. I've been living in California for nearly a decade, and if I'm being honest, I still don't quite know what to do during an earthquake. After the last one we had in LA, I realized I probably wasn't the only one. So I called Soraya Sutherland, who's a certified emergency manager, and she's going to help us feel confident in our preparedness at any location. So, Soraya, you've been training in response for over 13 years. What is the first thing we need to know when an earthquake hits? So there's two things that we want people to remember. The first is what to do. During an earthquake, you want to drop, cover, and hold on. And what that means is getting under a sturdy table, a desk, any piece of furniture, and you want to get low, you want to hold on and cover your head and neck. And we say that because as the earth is moving, the table or your bench or whatever you're under is going to start shaking. Okay. The second is getting an emergency kit, but not just getting an emergency kit, also knowing how to use it. And what I really enjoy the Judy kits because they're really well organized. They have all those critical resources and essentials such as first aid, a hand crank radio, food and water. They're everything you really need to get started in those critical moments after an earthquake. I like the idea of these kits because I get a little overwhelmed putting my own kit together. I don't quite know what should be in it, so it's nice that there's a one-stop shop. Yes. Now, an earthquake can hit at any moment. I learned that just when one happened a few months ago. What do we do when we're in our homes? So if you're in your home, what you want to do is stay where you are and not try and walk and run and move around. So again, the same rules apply. You want to drop, you want to cover, and you want to hold on. If you have small children and you're in bed when this happens, you want to teach them to stay there. That also includes you. And once the earth stops shaking, then you will go to them. Teach them that you will come to them once the shaking stops. That is sort of counterintuitive, so an important point. Um, my worst case scenario is that I'm driving during an earthquake. What do we do if we're in the car? So if you're in the car, you want to pull over as quickly as possible. You want to turn your car off and set the parking brake. Also, if you're on an overpass, you want to continue to get off that overpass or under a bridge, get out from under the bridge and turn your car off and set the parking brake. But I also really recommend people having essentials kits in their cars. You don't know where you're going to be and for how long. Also adding things like shoes, if you have to walk somewhere, um, a hat, a sweatshirt, things of that nature as well. I wouldn't have thought of shoes. Now, I heard that the hot zones in California are San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego, all places with warm weather. What do we do if we're outside? So if you're outside, the first thing you want to do is be aware of where you are. You want to get to an open space and be aware of things that can fall on top of you, such as poles, fences, trees. You want to get low. If you've ever tried to walk during an earthquake, if you're not on the ground, the earthquake's going to throw you to the ground. So again, get small, cover your head and neck, wait for the shaking to stop, and then assess your situation and then help others. If you're on a beach, something to remember, after the earthquake stops, then you want to get to high ground. There's always a risk of tsunami, so get off that beach immediately. Okay. I actually feel way better having spoken to you for just these few minutes, so thank you, and I hope everybody feels more confident in their preparedness as well.